Stop! Don't flush that water heater. It's a total waste of time. I know, I know. Flushing is the time-tested industry standard. It's been passed down through the eons of time, from father to son, from generation to generation, and now, suddenly, I'm telling you it doesn't work? Well, it never has, and this is why. First of all, the sediment is formed in chunks. It is much heavier than water, and the thick deposits of sediment are very porous. In other words, water will flow right through this stuff without any resistance. It's like trying to flush out a bucket of nails through a tiny hole. You just cannot build up any pressure to push the sediment out. Believe me, I have tried. Go ahead, search the web. There are hundreds of videos on flushing water heaters, installing three-quarter inch ball valves, oscillating the flow, and other tricks, but when they stop and, sh and show you how much sediment actually came out, it never amounts to more than a cup or so. I get asked all the time about self-cleaning water heaters. These have a curved or jetted dip tube that is supposed to stir up the sediment so that it will go up and out through your plumbing fixtures. This is a very bad idea. Luckily the sediment is heavy enough where this can happen. I have seen many self cleaners full of sediment. There is only one practical way to clean a water heater. This is the turbo tank cleaner. It is the world's number one water heater cleaning tool. It's not witchcraft. It's not a scam. Here's how it works. Basically, you turn off the power and the water to your tank. Open the drain valve to relieve the pressure. Then replace the drain valve with the turbo tank cleaner. Next, you attach a common garden hose and a drill to the tool. Turn the water back on and start spinning. There is really no need to drain the tank if you don't want to. This tool has three key components working together that make it so effective. The agitator, the auger, and the grinder. This is the agitator, made from half inch drain cleaning cable. It is long enough to reach clear to the back of your water heater. It is stiff enough to stir up the sediment, yet soft enough not to harm your tank, dip tube, or other components. You will notice there are kinks in the cable. These create turbulence and dig into the sediment. These can be rebent to suit your needs. The most aggressive shape is perhaps the half circle. As you can see, there is no need to spin it at high RPMs. This thing is like a turbo-powered tornado in your tank. You can alternate between forward and reverse to sweep right or left. High pressurized flowing water shooting out the end of your dip tube quickly sweeps the suspended chunks of sediment to the mouth of the tool. This pressure forces the chunks up against the spinning auger. The auger busts them up, pulls them inside, and prevents plug ups. Once inside, the sediment is ground further in the grinding chamber with the water to produce a fine slurry that is discharged out through the garden hose to a remote disposal location. You really need to get one of these things and amaze your family and friends. They will be shocked to see what's actually lurking inside their tanks. This is a really old water heater we just cleaned. We extracted over seven gallons of sediment out of here. And now we're going to go down and look through the element hole to see what's left. There's some broken off elements and there's just a little bit of sediment left. And if you look really close here, you can... Ah! 